Hey guys, welcome to Adventures of Malibu and Dad. Well, today we're doing the Virginia Museum of Transportation in Roanoke, Virginia. Let's check it out. Come along with me as we go take a look. When you first walk in, it's like a little town. So a big part of transportation is trains. Here we go. Cool little mock up here. It's a big train. Really cool, you can go inside. If you've ever been in a real train, here we are. This is how they drive them. Wow, can't get this thing to go. <laughs> Very neat. I've never even seen the inside of a train. Some more controls. Part of transportation of trains is the telegraph office. Let's go ahead and send a message out. That is a very large scale train there. That's a big one. And there's a conductor. Anybody have the key to this safe? Look at this lock. It's different switches. I know what tracks are on. Rock drill. They drill the rock. So we can 
watch a little bit of movie. This is strange. Well, this must be the plane section here. And this already is really cool. Leonardo da Vinci's ideal flight. We've come a long way since then. Now we got jet engines. Wow, look at that thing. A massive propeller engine. That's how the jets work. Look at that, that's a CJ610 turbo jet engine. Basically they force air and fuel through there and it makes lift. Bell 206. Some pilots. Look at all the plane models. That's an experimental airplane. Different suits. Stewardess and captains. jet plane. That's pretty cool. Must be a Boeing prototype. Women in aviation. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna go for a flight. Your passengers. There's your instruments for your flight crew. Super cool. Always want to learn how to fly. Hey, who do we have here? 
We got a passenger. Hi. Welcome aboard. Yes. Here we have a flight simulator. You can learn to fly. from this guy's eyes. <laughs> Check out this passenger car. Well, part of transportation is the buses. I remember Greyhound way back in the day. What a neat collection. Love all the badges here. Greyhound hat badges. Pretty cool. Crayon used to be the way to travel. I remember gold trailways also. I thought they had quite the neat little collection here of Virginia police patches. way to the train station looking to hop a train well you don't have to give me the silent treatment oh check this guy out there we go man look at the size of this train wow that is an old steam engine there. It's a Virginian, dated August of 1910.
this one too. This one was built 1897. Wow. Talk about some antique trains. Man, these are beautiful. Just the massive steel of these wheels. This blows me away what that thing must weigh. Train number six. Old folk and western. That's amazing, guys. And here's the Virginian. Engine number four. As we're watching the trains go on by. Doesn't get no better than that. It's like Dolby Stereo. That's 10 tons. That's where they must keep the coal or the wood. She's so carrying the big caboose. This one's got a pretty cool caboose too. Let's check it out. Wow, look at that one. Whew, this is a serious transportation museum, guys. Wow, look at this monster here. Holy cow. Look at that thing. Look at the front end. That might be electric. So the caboose is where the conductors and the train crew would sleep, eat. There's a furnace, a kitchen. And they had like, I call them like crow's nest. And they'd come up, sit down, they could relax, but also watch the train on both sides. Climbed up there. Small table here to the rear. You can plug in your laptop. Just kidding, there's no laptops back then. And I got a place we can take a little snooze. This place is amazing. Look at these trains. And old buses. This old bus here. A couple of old buses. That blue one there. Wow. 1009. That's a monster. So I'm at the ground level of this thing, 6-1, I'm just barely <laughs> by the bumper of this thing, it's just huge. Now these old school buses, this thing is actually made of all wood. And that's old. And you've got a cab all made of wood. A little bit of sheet metal up top. That's kind of neat to see. It's a big diesel engine. It's an eight cylinder diesel. This 1953 Mack bus. That. Another locomotive. God, these things are huge. It's so neat. I can't believe the variety of trains they have here. Look at this big giant thing. Just massive guys. Whew. This old bus though. Look at that. 
a little before my time. This one might be a little more towards my time here. 62. Look at that. Another massive train, Chesapeake Western. How massive is that? It was manufactured by a locomotive company, Alco. 1959, it has straight six, 1,000 horsepower, and weighs 2,390 239, 950 pounds. Wow, that's a lot of weight. Woo. That thing pushed some power. 1,000 horsepower. Look at this Chesapeake Western here. They only built 139 of these. They had 660 horsepower. Speeds were up to 60 miles an hour. The Chesapeake Railroad was established in 1892. Wow, 1892. We started that railway system. Well, if you love trains and you love transportation, this is the perfect place for you. Look at this train, it's 1776. This was manufactured by General Motors. It has 3,600 horsepower. They made 1,260 of them. It weighs 402,000 pounds plus. It's diesel electric. That's probably a lot like what you see today, but man, that thing is massive. Wow, very cool. I'm gonna show you the front end of this 18 wheeler. It's a veteran's truck. National Leagues of POWs and MIA families. That was pretty cool. 18 wheeler right there, guys. It's a whole very well done. Nice wrap. So that's Norfolk and Western train. God, that thing must be. Let's see the length here. Woo! It's got to be over 100 feet long. I mean, it's just trains and more trains in the yard here. Looks like some they're still restoring. I see a jet plane back there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Looks like they're going to restore that. We got some more old ones out there. Look at this old car. Called the Nickel. That was an oldie there. Love the way it kind of pushes out. 470. Reminds me of somebody's badge number. Nice old McCormick Deering Farmall tractor. Look at this Norfolk Western train here. More 18 wheelers. Look at this Hot Springs, I wonder if this Hot Springs, California fire truck. Look at this box car. Oh, that's big. Northwestern train. Had 1,750 horsepower. That thing could go 78 miles an hour. Wow. I love the old fire trucks. American LaFrance. 
It's old school. This is Hot Springs Volunteer. Ladder number three. That was back when the crews would have kind of an open cab. They'd respond down to fires. This is probably serving Covington from 1949 to 2005. I'm not exactly sure where that's from. Probably here in Virginia somewhere. Well, you know you're in the transportation history museum when you got old covered wagons. These are something you probably aren't going to be around much longer. Look at the age of those. Wow. Look at these. Here's an old hearse. This is a Cunningham horse drawn funeral carriage. This looks like something out of a bad nightmare. You can look inside this coach here. Here's where they had the mail bags. Different stuff, they're going different people. Pretty big workspace. Here we go. Part of transportation. City police car. Don't drink and drive. Let's say this officer needs to get his tire fixed. 2004 Crown Victoria police interceptor. I know somebody used to drive one of those for many years. Let's go up to this engine. Wow. Look at the length of this thing. This is all boiler. This is a massive train. Look at that firebox. All the gauges. Holy cow. It's just remarkable. Look at this big firebox. You have your coal. Or your wood, looks like it might have been coal or wood chips. Built in 1943. She's definitely one of the bigger antiques here. Number 1218. Great train. Museum and uh, transportation museum. Incredible. Having so much fun. So we came down. I wanted to walk you by this thing. <laughs> Man, this thing is massive. Look at the rivets and bolts. Just a wheel assembly on this thing. Wow. That's about 15 feet tall, guys. Man, the engineering feats, 
in my hand compared to this bolt. Look at all the bolts in there. Yeah, I love machinery and the way this works. And that's what this thing would do. It'd push and turn those wheels. Man, that thing is big. Here's a Roanoke, Virginia fire truck. That's an oldie. But this train, this is like looking at a submarine out of the water right next to you. That is just massive. Like I said, guys, that's about 15, 20 feet up. Pure steel. Let's take a look at this front end of this thing. Wow. That's impressive. This is pretty neat. It's a 1941 Piper Cub, model J3C65. And that's the kind of plane you want to learn to fly in. This little mini, mini train, live steam engine in it. That's really cool. And they have a train display. That's yeah. really nicely built. You get the small town. And we're headed to the cars. Well, let's start with the 1923 Piedmont Touring Car. You don't see too many of those on the road anymore, that's for sure. There's a 23 Rio Phantom Touring Car. That's got the convertible top. Actually, that's a convertible top put up. Oh, about the same type of car, it's a little different. Look at all these cars. Wow. I love this city garage mock up. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I'm working on it. Love the old gas pumps. Amico. It's a Chrysler 300. Wow. Here's a 1970 Charger. I've never seen one with a sunroof before. That's an RT. That's a pretty cool old Cutlass. 70, 1970. Oldsmobile Cutlass. I had a 73 Pontiac Le Mans, this was my very first car. Here's a 77 Rolls Royce Silver Shadow 2. Beautiful old Rolls Royce. Old yellow cab, 62 Studebaker. That's pretty neat. It's 
It's a 55 Studebaker. Another 1950 Studebaker. Look at that front end. It's like a jet airplane. I used to call it a Land Cruiser. 1913 Studebaker. Man, that is old. <laughs> Look at that wooden steering wheel. It's an 1870 Studebaker. A 32 DeSoto. That's an antique. Almost by the Great Depression it's in the 30s there. And here's a 1936 Cadillac Fleetwood Coupe. I love Cadillacs. You can see that Cadillac M one too right there. Wow. That thing looks in really good condition. Got the white walls. Cadillac has always made really nice cars. That old beauty. Look at the signage. Big Amico. Hollywood sign. Got some old race cars here. Looks to be like a Dodge Charger. Race car. Robotic vehicle. Must be a prototype. See all different cameras and that's pretty neat. There's a General Motors EV1 electric car. Huh. Maybe a prototype. I love the old Triumph motorcycles. This is Triumph Bonneville. 67 and she looks like she still runs the old box cars this is a Detroit electric car clear vision 1913 so they've been thinking about electric cars for a while now it's a Detroit electric car it was a vision visionary model 42 all weather family car electrical system with 14 six volt batteries, 84 volts. So electric cars are nothing of the future. They've been thinking about this since 1914, 1913. I'm learning something new today myself with this history. Lincoln, 1954 Capri. Six Ford Deluxe V8. And would you look at here? Holy time machine. It's a 1981 DeLorean DMC 12. It's just missing the time machine equipment. But that is a DeLorean. It's a V6. And back in 1981, this thing listed for. $29,945. Well, wait a minute, it's got a flux capacitor. Looky here. Wow. I love Back to the Future. I love DeLoreans. That was a really cool car. There's a 1927 Ford Model T Roadster. That's beautiful, I love that blue. 1914 Ford Model T touring car. Now America, we built some nice stuff. 1932 Model B Ford pickup truck. Love the old pickups. That's a little too old for me, but that's still beauty. It's a 1930 Grand Special Six Ford door sedan. Man. Beautiful. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. 
here at the uh, Transportation Museum in Roanoke. It's been quite the journey. I've learned all kinds of things. These cars are amazing. The trains were amazing. I uh, definitely highly recommend it. It was uh, $12 for adults. Children are free and um, worth the trip. I had a great time here, great adventure, lots of history. I mean, lots of history. So, hey, thanks guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for joining my channel today to go out and see this stuff that we're going out. We're doing it for you. I'm bringing it to your door, to your television at your home for you. This is what I do on my channel. History and fun things and roadside events. And God, I'm just so happy I could bring it to you. So uh, have a great day until our next adventure, guys. Stay tuned for Adventures of Mountain Blue and Dad. And thank you for watching. If this is your first time, give us a thumbs up and a like, and please subscribe. We'd love to get some more subscribers onto the channel. All right, guys, bye-bye. Thanks for showing up.